том байцаа хэрэгтэй. Аа. Тэр одоо том байцаа л олон доо одоо идэлээ. За энийг сонгож байгаа тийм их том сайхан байцаа. За. Тэгээ энээс илүү одоо орой байцаа одоо том болж болно. Бас гэр том болж байна. Тэр руу болж юм шиг. За энийг хүч. Өөдөр нэг нэг хүчөр чинь нэг луунгаар хайлмаг хийх гэдэг байна шүү дээ. Тэрэндээ бас энэ жицгэн дээр тойлч хийх. Одоо би ингэ жицгэн харахлаад ингэ сүйс хойж байна. Тайлж авч хийдэг. Хийг нь амь. Шууд баргын. Ураагасаа илүү ил. Хавргануд бай. Ani kau ni siapa? Mhm. Eh, kita kita nak cari kubur. Jangan pergi ke tempat yang sangat jauh. Macam mana orang cakap tentang am tak pergi sini cuma sekali. Jangan tahu ini kubur berapa jam sekali. Jangan tahu kubur berapa jam sekali. Mhm. این کامل تهران اکنون توی نگاه کنم بچین دست کل چیست؟ تیم باز نیست. تیم نگه سرخ جیگی. سر باز نیست. سرخ آب جاری است. 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 Yeah, mana macam macam bot tak? Tak ada macam macam. Tapi, tapi betul sih macam ni dia tu. Tapi macam ni susu dia betul tak ada. Tapi macam ni susu dia betul tak ada.
Dance touch.
I'm Nagi. Hi, Nargi. Hi, Nargi. We recognize you from all the videos we watch. Oh, yeah? yeah. Thank you so much. That's what brought us to Mongolia. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice hat. I like your hat, too. Cool hat. Club. I'm Mark. Nice hey, to Mark. meet you in person. Nice to meet you, Mark. So, welcome to Mongolia. Welcome to our Thank gear. You. you are here to see the real experience of the Absolutely. Mongolian food. Real Mongolian barbecue. Right, <laughs> you get it. With the rock. With, With the, the rocks. rocks. You guys have to eat some rocks today. Ah. <laughs> this was my birthday wish. I used to come here for this. Oh, yeah? Seen the video, yeah. All right, that's really cool, huh? It's a small tradition. Yeah. Passing the snuff bottles. Kind of um, saying hi or respect. So, how was your trip? It's absolutely amazing. Uh, yeah. How are you, Greg? How do you feel? I feel wonderful. This has been a great trip. We went out the Kakhorm and to the Orkana River Valley and the waterfalls and visited families. The Eagle Fest was just stunning. I'm still trying to Practice fix it all in my mind. It was so yeah. beautiful. We're nomads oh. ourselves, but a different kind. <laughs> Shell and I have lived on a boat for 10 years, so it's sort of like a floating year. year. We move with the weather just like the nomads move with the weather. Yeah, these guys are real uh, boat nomads. Yeah. Well, why, why you live in a boat? Freedom to go where you want and do what you want. And... Free hunters. <laughs> we like freedom. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, we'll see the body today. Yeah, it's, it's different from it's anything good. we've ever eaten. In yeah, the US. probably. We don't have this. You will see the whole preparation process and the cooking process. So. Nobody can make bodig easily. We just found out they are masters. Well, this guy is a Schuchert and Bimba and Puje. They will cook us a beautiful bodig today for our guests. <laughs> Yeah, this is very important part, taking whole bones and meat from the skin. Okay. It's not like they cut him open and remove all the internal stuff. It all has to come out through the same place where the throat was cut. And this is where the expertise comes in. This is where the skill. This is where the skill. The hips and the back. This is where skill is. Yeah, it's almost done. It's almost done. We yeah. The sack is ready. Just take and pull out the few bones. Yeah. The hind quarter and the back hips part must be very hard. Yeah. Because they're very far down in there. They were shoulder deep in that. Go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, those are the stones to heat up in the fire. Right. We need to uh, heat the rocks. Mongolians have a really few possessions. Rock <laughs> and some uh, skin ones. And they want to hang on to the rocks because they're hard to find rocks in, in, in Mongolia. There's hardly any rocks here. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a second. <laughs> it's hard to find out. Body. 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 There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are our side dishes. Prep for the uh, the veggie part here. Oh yeah, good for everyone. Yeah. What about in your country, like, do people use the sheep or goat? Sheep and goat are not used to the extent that they are here. Not even close. The sheep that are out there, it's more just for the wool than for the meat. Not. A lot of not it, not lot. like, not on the scale you have here. And goats, they're out there, but it's just not. I think they would use them for the, the dairy products, for making goat cheese and things like that, but not for eating. Or, oh, yeah. And, and Bodic, of course, is, <laughs> they don't even know what that is. But <laughs> in the U.S., people eat uh, beef, pork, chicken, most. Welcome to the land of carnivores, man. Yeah, I like it. And then add some garlic inside of the bag. Yeah, some garlic. Oh, yeah, I can smell it. You can smell mm, it? Good. <laughs> smell it good. Yeah, we got some cabbage, onions, carrot, potato, that's it. Now it's time to put the meat inside of the bag with the hot, really hot stones now. So the bones go back in, huh? Yeah. Swirling around. You good? 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 
because it's smelling cooking already. Yeah. You can hear it cooking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> listen, you can hear it sizzling. Smell it? Oh, yeah. Mmm. Ooh, that does yeah, smell good. Yeah, that does smell good. Oh, man. Relax. It's like standing outside a steakhouse, you know? Yeah. You can smell it. Does that smell? <laughs> Good smells make you relaxed. My mouth's watering. <laughs> I am not watering. We got our Chingus Gold Vodka. What the hell you got? Yeah, baby. He's so good. 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 Oh, yeah. We added some vodka in it. It makes the meat more tenderized, you know. Wow. That's a nice little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a Wrap it up. We've just tied off the uh, top of the goat's his neck. His neck. His neck. All right. The final mixing. <laughs> We're, we're surprised at how much people use blowtorches here. It's like, oh, we need to start a fire, blowtorch. Oh, we need to clean off the goat, blowtorch. Oh, yeah. And we picture him having like six shooters like a cowboy with blowtorch. <laughs> we can't live without any yeah. blowtorch so far. They just scorch the whole back and then wash that out. Getting hungry. Looking good. I'm cooking a blue dog. Bad, bad. <laughs> bad dog. Here we go. I'm gonna have a, a big shot of vodka with my Badig buddy Nargi. It's like a tongue twister. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> you. Well, we're happy yeah. to be here. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. What's cheers in Mongolian? Uh, to look. To to look. To look. <laughs> to look. Yeah. To look. It might break your tongue. It, it might. <laughs> I had a hard enough time with Badig buddy. <laughs> Yeah. Think about, this has probably been invented by the Mongol army. And they're out there, they had no cooking pots or anything like that. I don't know, I'm just kind of winging it, but it's like, makes sense. And they've, they've got nothing. So they, they're, they're pulling it all out, and it cooks quicker that way. Yeah, yeah. that would be possible, uh, both of Yeah. Are you hungry, guys? Oh, Very yeah. exciting. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Done. So we moved the, the cooking badog, it's no longer a goat, it's now badog, into the gear where we'll be eating our dinner. Oh, badog. Uh. <laughs>
<laughs> you have to grunt like a mongol. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I should believe myself because of the boating is ready to go. <laughs> they can't wait to get it. So let's get them in the gear and get some boating. Are you hungry? Oh, we are hungry. We're hungry. Let's go and get it. Boating right. smells so good. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> Well, this is your bodak. Well, this is your time because it's your birthday. Okay. And then you have a right to uh, first cut the um, the body. All right. Happy birthday, Greg. Happy birthday. Okay. Right okay, right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> that good? That loud. Good? Okay. Oh. Oh, Greg, this is your part. <laughs> okay. Well, just a good start with the Greg. You know, okay. you, you first okay. cut it. First cut of the bottom. Mm -mm -mm. This is the singed meat. We can directly eat it. Best bottom I've ever had. Oh, my mouth is Who's so watering. <laughs> now it's time to get the handle the rocks right now. It's good for your health. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh, that feels good. Yeah, it relieves your stress. I bet it's hot. <laughs> Woo! Pass it quick. Mm. Yeah. I can't believe Mark. how hot this still is. Super hot! Yeah. You want to do it, Mark? Sure. Here. Get it. Ooh, it's hot, hot Rock. <laughs> Greg's got a soup. <laughs> oh, that soup looks good. Enjoy your soup. Oh, is that good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Amazing. Mm. Okay. It's very organic and natural oh, dish. Yeah. <laughs> Just take it. Our hands are all greasy. I, I <laughs> oh, man. That That's is awesome. It's tender. It's awesome. It's Delicious. He didn't look like he was going to be this good originally. <laughs> He's very tasty. <laughs> well, Greg, <laughs> how do you feel? I feel great. Seeing your video months ago was our inspiration to come and have Balag. We saw this and we said, we have to try this. <laughs> we made a whole trip to Mongolia and we're so happy you could join us and we could have Balag yep. with our Balag boys. <laughs> How do you feel after eating some Balag? I'm going to be very full in a little bit. Mm -hmm. There's a lot to eat here, but it is delicious. I love the juice in the soup. Oh, oh awesome. Uh, Since Greg first sent me your video and I looked at what this was, I've been so excited about coming and experiencing it. Mm -hmm. And um, it is everything I thought it would be. I'm loving it. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really amazing. So you should get the recipe from these guys. <laughs> and I appreciate these Baltic boys cook this Baltic. Hey. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, I gotta suck that out, the uh, mare bones. Yeah, it's it's really cool, you know? Delicious.
Тайна 
That's interesting. Oh, that's hot. Mm. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> oh, better. Okay. Mm. And and a potato. Ah, nut. Oh, hun. That poor girl didn't get through it. Well, thank you. Mm. Okay. Mm. This is the eye. Mm. I am eating the eye. Nut. 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 Okay. Mm. <laughs> it's really good. Хаврчаа биш баран ич зуны зуншлаг болцсон байна шүү дээ найзаа. Сайхан зуссч ийн үү гэж бодоо. Минтчлэгийг өөрчлөх хэрэгтэй. This is not the what you think. This is the Mongolian snuff tobacco, guys. I always tell you about that. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Aroma. Hey guys, did you get balls? Hey guys, all being set up, I'm ready to go. Just got my hair cut and get dressed. I'm very fired up and ready to rock out one another Mongolian spring ceremony. Let's go! Tutsasa! I think we will find the family to be our host today. Okay, let's go. You know, it's 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 a tough to find a family sometimes in Mongolia. There's no really good signs out there. Lots of dust roads, but at least we we always find that out. Here we go. We got the family out there. Bishwana, start again. The family is not dead, but we got a good direction. I'm doing what you know. Just tell me. So that's a little bit of a shame. The hour is so bad. What about you? I'm doing what you know. Oh, just just. The whole guy will. Let's get the guys absolutely right, family. Yeah, maybe Put the uh, lamps and kids together in one fence and then these guys will be castrated soon. We'll see what will happen. Mongolian nomadic people once in a year they celebrating traditional fertility because it's balancing to animals first. If herders have so many sheep with its testicles, it's gonna be a disaster. Fighting over dominance, herd leadership, and females. Once its testicle is gone, the sheep becomes less aggressive in nature. So it's a must process for herders. In the other side of the world, there are many different techniques to castrate the baby animals. 
This is the Mongolian method. The people who castrate the uh, baby animals need to be skilled. And he needs also assistance. And also he needs a really, really sharp knife. Yeah, we need his balls. <laughs> Mongolian people believe that eating testicles is like taking natural vitamins because of its testosterone they contain. Traditional Mongolian medicine offering to eat fresh testicles of sheep and goat for good health. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to try. Okay. Let me try one. You know it with this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's not easy, but I can deal with this. The usually castration is done. Lambs and kids are three or four months old now. So who is asad the kid or stayo? At the castration work, everybody in the family get involved in handling the whole process. I like that. This is our Mongolian culture. <laughs> Whoa. Oh man, no, not that. It's a raw, it should be cooked. I can't wait to get the dish. These are not wastes, Mongolian herders cook it. The meal also considered as a very nice delicacy through the country. I'm really excited to taste it after it cooked. This is Biro. Before we came, they already castrated. We called it Biro. You only had monks to the Sasagi hit Timosa. That's the Sajrud in the game of Twist. Uh huh. Tell me what an old man. You was new to our coin of it means. It gives you more power their sexual drive as well. Isn't it interesting? But guys, this one another ingredient is in Borts. Borts is Mongolian traditional dried meat. Oh. First of all, we fill out the pot with the Borts and then we added the whole testicles with some water. I love stock and can't wait to taste it. This is the most extraordinary dish I have never seen in my life. This would be really good mix. Well, I gotta wait just for an hour. Mongolian nomads have been wrangling their livestock animals for several centuries. Their livestock rises to millions in every year. Although the population is 3 million, and today the total number of livestock is reached 66 million. Ooh. My mouth is started watering now. She said that she would add some rice in there. And we gotta stir this out. You see that. We gotta wait for 10 more minutes to cook the rice. Oh man, this is... Baby bowls and Bart's porridge smell so good. Mm. 
<laughs> oh yeah, we have lots of guests here today for eating some testicles. Zasa! Let's get it! This is a mass food in a pot. People have the blast eating today. We'll see. Let me take this out first. Oh! <laughs> Oh my goodness, the dish is ready. Dried meat with the sheep tail. Oh yeah, I want to highlight the zasa is a baby animal balls. This is my first time to eating the testicle. Mm, it's pretty hot. Mm. It's so tender. It's cooked so well. I feel I can taste it like the egg yolk or something. Freshly tendered meat. One more. It melts in my mouth. I love the taste. It's delicious, man. Ooh. This is from a two or three years old cow. Let me cut in peace. Oh my god. Mm, finger licking good. I have no idea, but it tastes something very smooth. Oh. Let me spoon up just a little soup. No really strong flavor in it and nice and delicious, buddy. You see that man's eating the testicle a lot in here. What's that? It just gives them lots of strengthness and then power. On you. Team mm Manaka. -hmm. Uh -huh. Everything is I'm really polished off with the testicles. I got balls. I like it. Peace out, dudes.